welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to share with you my newest house plant. So I recently went to Logie's greenhouse and I was walking through the Hoya section and I saw this gorgeous plant and I could not pass it up. So this is called a Hoya Cary Variegata and you can see that it has these heart shaped leaves that have like green in the center and then this creamy white border around the leaves. It's a vining plant, so it's good to have some kind of a stake that it can grow grow on. And this is more of a mature plant that I bought. It is quite large. You can see here it has a great, a great size to it. So hopefully, I'm really hoping my plant will flower for me. I love the flowers that Hoya produce. They're just so intricate and they kind of flower in like a little bunch. So it looks like a little mini bouquet. So I'm really hoping it flowers this spring and I'll be sure to post any photos on my Instagram of it flowering if it happens to. So I'm just gonna go over some care tips for this Hoya if you are interested in purchasing one for yourself. So when it comes to light requirements, if you're having this inside your home, it needs partial sunlight. So that would either be a northern, eastern, or western window. You don't want to put it in front of a southern window because of the, the sunlight is too harsh for its leaves. For watering, you want to make sure that it dries out completely in between waterings. And most Hoyas do prefer this. They don't like sitting in soggy soil. And it does help to use a well-draining soil um, when repotting your Hoyas, such as like a cacti soil, um, and that helps uh, prevent this Hoya from sitting in soggy soil. When it comes to fertilizing, you would fertilize this type of plant during the spring and summer, during the active growing season. You would just use a balanced fertilizer. And fertilizing will also help um, stimulate blooms. And also, during the winter season, when the days are shorter and it's colder during the day, that also helps stimulate blooms during the spring. It kind of signals to the plant that you're going to be blooming soon. And then another tip to helping your Hoya bloom is you want to make sure that your Hoya doesn't have a lot of space to grow in the pot. Because if you have, like say I repotted this into a larger pot, it's going to be focusing a lot of its energy on growing more roots, but instead you want it to focus energy on flowering. So having your plant slightly pot bound will help the plant flower. But typically Hoyas don't flower unless they're a little more mature. So maybe a little older than two, three or four years old, your Hoya will most likely flower for you as long as the conditions are right. And Hoyas can um, do just fine in the same pot for a few years. So don't worry about repotting your Hoya every single year. All right guys, so those are all my tips that I have for you today for this Hoya Cary Variegata. If you do want to order your own, you can order these from logies.com. But if you do live in a colder area and it's winter time, um, they, they don't always offer ship, shipping during the winter because of the colder months, but you usually can order like a heat pack if you are interested in ordering this. Um, so you can give it a try. And you can also follow me on my Instagram, it's Juju Succulents. And I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. I do post videos every week and I have really exciting content that I am going to create for you guys. So I'd really appreciate it if you join the channel. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.